welcome to my channel. Today is going to be my first YouTube video on this channel with me talking to you. So I thought I'd do an all my animals video. All of them. That way you guys get to be introduced. So let's get started. Alright, so first up we have Lua. This is my royal python or a ball python. She is um, just a normal wild caught morph. She doesn't really have anything to her. I've had her now for about three years since I was a senior in high school, maybe going on four. She's kind of tiny for her age, but I have had a lot of problems with her eating in the past, so she's kind of tiny. I also don't know if she's male or female, so oftentimes when I talk about her, I'll switch pronouns. Um, I don't really care, and she doesn't really care. Most likely Lou is a male in my opinion. The way I was told um, is that a lot of shops and breeders will give out their males if they have an overabundance because they really only need one male and a bunch of females um, for breeding and that changes when you go into morphs because obviously different males can be different morphs but because she's just a wild type morph I I'm assuming that it's a male, but I really don't know. So oftentimes you will hear me switch pronouns when I talk about Lua. She is my very first pet that I have had and that I will show you guys. Um, I think she's absolutely gorgeous. She just got out of shed about two days ago. She had an amazing shed and now she's super hungry. <laughs> she's looking for her next meal and I'm actually gonna feed her after this video. So this is Lua. All right guys, so for my African fat tail gecko, we're gonna be switching locations. This is Norman's tank. It is my first vivarium. As you can tell, it looks a little rough. Um, I'm actually gonna be taking it down soon, so I'm not too concerned with the way it looks. Sorry for the shaking camera. So if you go right under here, don't mind the dead plant, that's gonna be Norman's humid hide. He used to have um, just kind of a drier hide, but he really never used it. So I took it out just to make space for him to walk around. That's going to be his normal humid hide. And in his new enclosure, he will have both hides again. So let me go ahead and take him out for you. All right, so I apologize for the shaky camera work. Uh, I was holding it with my hands and I was shaking a lot. But I went ahead and got her out. This is Norman. Oops. This is my African fat tail gecko. Uh, she's precious to me. <laughs> she is again wild type. She doesn't have any sort of special morphs to her. She is actually he when I got him, I guess. Um, <laughs> he was too small to be sexed and I took him to a vet and the vet guessed a female. So I named her Norman because that's what I wanted to name her. And then about two or three sheds ago, she was big enough and I was able to look and figure out that she was a he. So he's definitely, just like Lua, doesn't really care what pronouns I use specifically for him. But yeah, this is Norman. I've had him for about a year now. I got him June 5th, so a little over a year. All right, guys, we're going to be moving away from reptiles for just a little bit. And we're going to meet Gizmo. This is my domestic short-tailed chinchilla. He is a morph, unlike my last two. He is a mosaic chinchilla. He's not too happy about being picked up right now. His cage is that really big one back there. They require a lot, a lot of space. All right, so I put Gizmo up temporarily. Uh, I'm actually allergic to chinchillas. Normally I can hold him, but he just had a bath yesterday, so I was sneezing a lot. Why didn't I have? hives where he was laying now so I put him up so next up is my uh, planted beta tank I apologize again for the shaky video I am holding my phone again so it's shaken but uh yeah so in here I have one beta fish that's swim shady and I have four pygmy quarries so that's gonna be Fred Daphne Vel Velma and Nor <laughs> Norville I for I forgot Shaggy's real name. Anyways, that's their names. Right under my beta fish on that stand, I have my pink toed tarantula, Wyatt. I went ahead and took his cage down for you guys right here. And I'm 
going to take him out. Now, I know this gauge is small. I know he's a boreal. I know. Trust me. But he himself is still quite small, so I don't have him in a big exoterra yet just because I don't want him to get out. <laughs> All right, so I do have Wyatt out. I'm keeping a close eye on him because pink toads and tarantulas in general are very fragile. And he's quite small, so I don't want him to fall onto anything. I don't know if you guys can kind of see him. <sighs> he, again, is another one of my animals that I do not know the correct pronouns for. He is too small to sex, of course. I've tried it personally. I can't tell. I actually think he might be a female. I've put it on a few forms, some photos of his abdomen, and I'll say he's still just too, too small yet. I'm gonna go ahead and put him back. Uh, usually he'll calm down after a while, but he has not, so. I'm just gonna put him back. He is one of my newer animals. I've only had him for, I've only had him for about five months. So far he's gone through two molts with me. I keep him here. He was a little sling when my pet store had got him. And I don't want to get him because he was so tiny. <laughs> I The pin had crickets. I would have to cut them into thirds. I mean, he was so small. I can't even tell you guys. I mean, if you've seen tarantula slings, you know how small they are. Um, just for frame of reference, this is his first molt with me. Uh, that's his first molt with me. Um, I dropped it. This is his second molt. And now he is the size that he's at now. So I do hold on to the molds. I think it's really cute. Once he gets bigger, it might even be easier to spread them out and put it in some resin or something. I don't know if people do that, but I think it'd be a really cool idea. <laughs> All right, I have one more pet to show you, but I need to go wash my hands before I take him out. All right, so this is my newest addition to my family. He's only about two weeks. That I've had him. I don't know how old he is. He's not two weeks old. Um, yeah, I've only had him for about two weeks. Here he is. His name is Cheese It. I know I'm shaking. I just got him about two weeks ago, so I'm really kind of, I don't know, still anxious about this guy. I'm pretty sure it is a male with tomato frogs. Males are a little bit more orange. Females are a little bit red. I have been told too that the color develops a little bit more the older they get, so she might turn bright red, but I'm pretty sure it's a male. Ooh. So cheese it right now is only in a five gallon tank. I know that that's small, but he himself is quite small and I just got him. So I want to keep a closer eye on him. So he is in a five gallon for now. Um, ultimately, I want to put him in a 10 or 20 gallon and get a female and name her cheese nips. <laughs> so I have my cheese it and I have my cheese nips, but all right guys, so that's all my animals. It's very awkward talking to a camera, so I apologize if this video was uncomfortable. I promise it will get better. I hope it'll get better, but I have a lot of fun things in store with my animals, a lot of great videos. So if you guys like this videos, you liked any of my animals, <laughs> you wanna see more of me or my animals, go ahead and do me a favor and subscribe. Uh, I know a lot of people point, I don't know where where it would be, I'm assuming it's like right down here if you guys want to subscribe. I think likes right here and feel free to comment. The only thing I ask with the commenting and you guys can do whatever you want. I understand I can't tell you what to do, but I will ask just so it's out there in the world. I do want this channel to be a community that's open and understanding and kind. So if you do have any criticisms about the way that I keep any of my animals, the fact that I have any of my animals, for now or to the future, any comments on what other people are commenting, I just ask that you be respectful about it. Again, I know I can't tell you what to do, but we're all human, we're all imperfect, and we're all learning. So I just wanna try and keep my channel as positive and kind as I can. So if you feel the need to comment, please do it respectfully. I think that's everything. Again, I apologize. I don't really have an outro yet, but bye. See you next week.